G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, and welcome back to Hardcore Specialist, where we're coming into Day 7, that is 7, I can count, Day 7, which is going to be the Blood Moon Horde, the final day of our Agility Skill Week, and what a week! It has been unusually good luck and a cool POI get to live in and all the things have been going my way except for the first day. But other than that, it's been a pretty rip snorting good time. But it is not over yet. We still have a couple of hours left in game to get our stuff sorted out. And it is day seven. So it is trady potato day. I do need to go and set about reasonably quickly. I'm not going to bother doing these two tier 2 fetches here. I don't have the time. I need to go and see Jen before she opens up. It's a bit of a hike down there. See her. See her first. Give her a kiss goodbye. May never see her again. Always going to make sure you hedge your bets and make sure she knows how much she means to me, despite the fact that she is mean to me every time I go there. Uh, trade a wrecked as well and see Trader Bob. See all the tradies, buy what we can, and hopefully get ourselves in pretty good stead for the upcoming horde. There is the morning chime. Let's head down the ladder for one of the last times and get on our way. I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be sad to see this place go with my sweet balcony up there. This place has been my home and I've liked being here. But it's all coming to a close. It's always satisfying when you see a zombie just like standing in the middle of the road. Just going to cruise past and give him a tickle just on your way. Barely even hop off your bike for half a minute. It's just funny. In fact, how far away am I? I'm not too far away from the next skill point. I still need to find one murky water so i can make myself another bit of glue so i make myself the last piece of leather armor kit that i need but that's really all i'm waiting on all my skill points now i've got max level archery got max level knives max level pistols for where i am at the moment i'm level six agility with my goggles if i get two more skill points i can go to level seven and unlock the next couple of levels for everything else but Level 3 for all of my main offensive weapons seems like the right level for day 7 or even day 14, I guess. Uh, given that I am running double XP, so moving twice as fast through the game. But I think the next couple of points will go like parkour, will go like run and gun, those kinds of things. That's probably where it's a better option spending my uh, soon to be gained points. Just kind of like rounding out the skill tree a little bit. I've made it here early again, so I might just quickly stop off and see if I can have a squeeze through these people's garages. There is a zombie in here. I was hoping there would be. That's a terrible shot. Gets, I know you just rode like half, oh, not half kilometer, a full kilometer, but even so, keep your wits about you and swing your arms around a little bit more vigorously, please. Come on. There you go. There you go. Nice. Now, I need some glue, please, if you wouldn't mind. I know I could pick up everything. Well, I may as well actually do that. The doorknob, not really worthwhile, but I can take anything of any notes going to sell it to Jen in four seconds. Empty glass jars. Anyone with some fluids in it, please? No, not that kind of fluid. A different fluid. I am just kind of flat out going on a bit of a cavalier sneaky raid while waiting for Jen. <laughs> because I got time to kill, and what better way to kill it than by killing zombies? No, nope, nothing down there. Check the food pile. There's clean water. I need murky water. Wow. Seriously? After the whole game of just like shoving murky water down my face every chance you got. Now I actually need some and you're just flat out refusing to adhere to my requests. Wasn't being unreasonable this time either. Give me the iron. No, nope, nothing, nothing around, nothing here. Search for trash, I suppose. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm... Am I not going to find any? Come on, surely in the toilet. There you go. That's what I needed. Thank you. Found some nerdy glasses as well, which actually will... Serve me well going and talking to traders. They still give me barter stuff. Lesser in, uh, crafting time, more XP game, and plus one intellect. So not really for what I'm normally after, but the extra XP is usually a good time. Go right back to there, please. Plus, like, the extra agilities. They are helping me a little bit, but not all that much. Is that this entire POI? Is this a remnant? I guess it must be given all the doors are unlocked. There's not really anything in here. All right then. Probably should have guessed by the fact it was only like three zombies inside, but sure enough, there you go. That's now done. I do like that there's like not all houses are proper like dungeon crawlers. Some of them are just, you know, empty POIs with no loot. And Ow! I hate that. Yeah, with no loot and no zombies and just kind of like empty nothingness. I kind of like that is an option. Jen, how you doing? 
you're shaking your hands at me like a bloody Qui-Gon Jinn, but you're not actually saying anything to me. Real quick, actually, do you have any sugar butts? Yes, you bloody do. I'll gurgle them down nice and quick. Might have made it to the other trainees as well on the same candy time. Nice, but I wanted that to sell all of this to you because I've got some good gubs you need to take from me. There we go, back up to five and a half grand. Made $3,000 just then, which I'm a bit of a fan of. You have an AK-47 for me, but not what I need today. I'll take the cobble. Uh, oh, Grandpa's awesome sauce. Much better bartering out of that as well, but not what I'm after right now. I'll take the bow parts. I mean, I can make myself a better wooden bow at some point if I get the opportunity to, though I'm lacking a lot of bow parts, actually. I don't think that's going to be really an option. What I am here for is 9mm ammo. Duct tape. Uh, I'm actually, I might as mm, It's kind of expensive. Maybe not. I've already spent half my dollar dues already on not a lot of gubs. So how about... What do you have? Do you have any tips? No. Do you have any casings? Yes. Do you have any gu uh, gunpowder? Not a lot. It was only tips that I'm lacking back at home, so I'd rather save my money for the other traders to potentially find some good stuff there. More handgun parts. I got a surplus of those, so no thank you. Iron fire axe. Nothing really getting me excited. All right. Well, we tried, Jen. Thanks for the business. We're open from dawn to dusk. You're not. You're lying to me. I was expecting you to say, like, you know, some fond words, maybe some well wishes, or even just, like, the slightest hint that you might like to see me survive and come back and see you again. But apparently not, Jen. Get stuff then. No, don't get stuff. I'm sorry. I love you. I'm sorry. Jen! It did take me almost half of my bartering candy to make it back to Trader Rex. So I'll just hop off here. Run in nice and quickly. Do you have any other bartering candy, actually? Time is money. No. Wager, you don't have any. <sighs> shut up. Shut up. Whatever. Here, you're only here for one purpose. That's for me to throw money out for anything worthwhile. You do have a nice wooden bow, but not what I'm after today. Real quick. 9mm. No, nothing. Tips? No, nothing. God, you're worthless. Bit of 9mm in there. Cheeky deeky. Grab some of you. What else you got for me, knackers? Uh, I got a pistol. That's right. I got a better one. Urban Combat Volume 7. 5% uh, less damage indoors. That's actually a pretty good book. A lot of those books are actually really worthwhile and really good. Nothing else really there. Have a cheeky squeeze through the rest of your gubs. Wow, you got fucking nothing. You are such a waste of everybody's time Be and attention, Chatter X. No, actually not. Power attack. Yeah. There, have some bleeding. Bleed out your fucking asshole. It'll be about as valuable out of your words. So with that, with seeing Old Bay Trader Rec for the last time for five minutes, I'm going to pedal up north and go see, was it Trader Bob? I think it was in that northern town. Three traders this nearby is actually really bloody good. Part of the reason that this starting week has been so good for me is... I've just been getting really good with the RNG. I've been, getting, I've been finding things that I need. I've been finding traders that I need and raiding places that have been helpful to me. So it's all gone pretty well. So Trader Rex might have some more ammo. I'm pushing about a thousand rounds of 9mm now, which is good. I've got repair kits as well for the pistol, which will be good for me as well. Plus it's a tier four, so it should last a little bit longer. Um... I suppose the only thing really left for me to do is maybe look for some bow parts. Like, I'll buy the ammo if I find it. That's a no-brainer. But if I find some more bow parts, I'll get myself, like, a tier 4 wooden bow, which will be a good time. Get myself some better archery skills out there as well for various ratings or whatever. We're pretty well-rounded, actually. Like, things have gone... Things have gone well, and like as a as a skill, the agility skill tree is actually pretty good. You do never have some like good options on both like the offensive and the defensive side. And it's all uh it's all coming up, Josh House. I have actually managed to wiggle my legs fast enough and floppy enough that I've made it back to wreck uh not wreck, sorry, Bob, with two minutes left on my looting candy. I left the door open for stripper titties. Hopefully Bobby's still in here. Skull crushes, melee damage. I mean, I'm on the other side of a chain link fence. I'm not really planning on using that tonight. Well, Bob, how you doing? Thank you for the extra XP. Now, real quick. Do you have a baseball bat? Not really going to help me now. Now, do you have a machete? I'd like a machete. No, you don't have one. What about some 9mm then? Got a big stack of them. I can't afford all of them. I'll take like 80, I suppose. In fact, before I buy all of those then, how about we look at what the rest of the stuff is? Oh, can you shut up, please? I know you're outside. I'm shopping right now. All right, fine. All right, fine. That's it. If that's how you're going to be, sorry, Bobby. I know there's only a minute left for looting candy, but someone take the fucking hints. Piss off. I've got things to do that aren't you right now.
See, that's what I was hoping for. He does actually have some tips in here. I would have spent all my money and not had them. So that's going to be 380 rounds instead of like the 80 I was going to be able to buy otherwise. So that's using the old noodle for a change. Josh, proud of you for actually getting the synapses to fire. There's another Muppet outside. Ugh. All right, I'll fuck him up in a second. Uh, nothing else here. I've only got $700 reduced, so not much. Another pistol. Spear Hunter books. Pistol Pete's. Successive uh, leg shots on the same cycle when Chris has a piss, uh, to cripple. I don't usually take leg shots, to be perfectly honest with you, so no thank you. And not really much else. All right, well, let's grab the rest of those 9mm then. I wish there was a way to, like, auto-buy the maximum that I can afford. 810. What, what, how much have I got? 718? There. Buy. That's all the money I have in the world. All right. Well, you let's, uh, ooh. Oh, it's getting real dark and dingy out here now. Pop open the door. Are you a clone? I'm pretty sure I murdered someone who looked exactly like you in the exact same spot not too long ago, but whatever. Whatever the tomfoolery the gods are getting up to, I'll just stay the heck out of that. All right. The number's red. There's definitely a horde tonight. I have all the gubbins that I need. Let's head back home. Make the last of our armor. Oh, let's try and get our life in order a little bit. I mean, there's not really much to do. I try my best not to get distracted by looting and raiding before a horde, but we all know. We know who I am. We know what I'm after. We all know I'm going to get distracted by something shining in about three seconds. You know how I was just saying that I'm going to get distracted by stuff? I really want to raid the cathedral. I really do. Because I am I love the books that they've added into this. Like, there's so much value in... Not even, like, finishing series. The only book series that has no value is the Needle and Thread, bar the one Needle and Thread book that I do have for the double cargo pockets. The rest of that series is redundant because you don't need to make your own clothes. You just find it everywhere you go anyway. But the Cathedral has so many easy books to access in the basement. Like, it's the first room you go into and there's a lot of bookshelves. The old-style good bookshelves as well. So... The temptation is there, but I'm being good. I'm having some self-control for a change. You can all be very proud of me. I'm proud of myself. I'm actually focusing on a task for a change and not getting distracted in four seconds. Don't do it, Josh. Don't do it, Josh. Don't do it, Josh. Don't do it, Josh. Go home. Put your bullets on the craft. Make sure you have everything for Horde. If you have some spare time later, sure. Go murder some zombies if you so feel like it. But do that after the fact. Home sweet home uh, again. <laughs> See what I mean by how nice the orange, like the warm lighting is with the candles and the, the torches and stuff. It just looks nice and welcoming in here. Despite it being, you know, still in the middle of an apocalypse. Grab you guys. Go 9mm. Craft you. I want to get that done as quickly as possible. Because that's going to take about 6 hours in game to craft. Days are an hour long. So half an hour is 12 hours. 15 minutes is 6 hours. Quick maths. So that's going to get that crafting up for me. I can put the rest of you guys away. Uh, let's go like that. I don't have to carry a full stack of goo for the moment. Look at that though. That is a good time. I have a thousand rounds of 9mm ammo just chilling in the box. Oh, that's a real good wicket. Nice. Okay, you can go back into there. Not that one, please. Uh, I am missing some casings. So casings here. Have some of you. There we go. Craft. No, craft all of those. There you go. Five minutes worth. So, yeah, about there. Sure, why not? Get the rest of you going as well. I only really need 66. That's how many tips I have. But sure, whatever. Just get it going and get it happy. Um, oh, is there anything else I'm needing? Is there anything else I'm forgetting? I did just kind of think that I probably could have just bought some glue from probably Trader Jen. She probably had some around for me. But I was too busy just like one track mine and thinking like, oh, I need some murky water. Well, I already had the murky water, so I just kind of forgot about it. While I was there, that's going to go through nicely. I need one of you and you, please. Come on, three more seconds right about now. Thank you. Nice. Oh, wait, Josh, turn that off. Don't want to have two crafting stations run at the same time. You don't want to fight a bloody screamer right about now. Craft you, and then... Oh, you're going to take ages to get yourself sorted out, too. Okay. What do I need? What was the other piece of armor that I needed? I've got chest, I've got arms, I've got feet. I need leg armor. Okay, nice. That should be doable. Leg armor. Craft. Stop you. Get crafting my piece of leather. Uh, I'll have armor, please, because I need that. Get you crafting away instead. But I lost like 10 seconds, but that's right. I'd rather do that now and take the armor with me than have to remember to come back to get it later on. Thank you. Oh, nice. It's all starting to come together for me. Well, I've got some time to kill, so I'll grab my cobble that I have there. In fact, I do have some concrete as well. Not much, but some. I'll take a hammer. Thank you very much. You can just go there, I guess. 
Let's go. Oh, wait, hang on. Why do I have tips in here? What are the... You're supposed to be in here with the rest of the gubs. There you go. I will go and quickly start making the renovations that I need to the horde base now. So I don't forget it later. This is why I couldn't have got distracted with the cathedral. There are things I need to do today that aren't just flapping about and stabbing zombies all willy-nilly. There will be time for zombie murder later. I promise the zombies will get murdered at some point today. I don't need to go looking for a fight. The fight's coming to me in like 10 hours. Oh, there's a drop coming in. Oh, come on. Look at that. Pull the trigger now. You would have been right over the top of me. It would have actually been helpful for a change, you piley pelican. But no, get dropped out in the middle of bloody nowhere. That's ages away too. That's like probably about there, I think. Well, not really ages away, but definitely far enough away that I'm not really tempted by it. I might stumble across it later on if I get real lucky. God damn, I hate those pilots. But anyway, I need to quickly get rid of you because I want to plug up this gap. I'd rather them come up the stairs at the front and that be their way in. This is kind of like a... um. Well, I'm going to say a problem, but that's a bigger problem. So please stop that. Mm, do I need meat? No, I don't need leather either because I found lots of that. Okay, we're fine. So how, what are we going to get rid of to open this up to make it easier for me to defend? Oh, it's because the frame's in the way. What's the frame made of? Please don't be metal. Well, they are metal, but it's not that, hard, not that bad to break down. Okay, I'll break it down. Plug up this gap. I might actually make this the concrete bit because I'd rather this be nice and secure so I'm not focusing on one doorway and they break through the back way. If this is nice and concreted, that's going to make me feel a whole lot better. So this is their way up here now. I would like, I have a little bit of wood, but not very much. I might go, just go grab some and make some hatches just on the doorway there, just in case I need them. Grab you and wait for your stamina to come back. Uh, I don't think I'm missing anything particularly egregious. I think really jumping out at me is something that I really desperately need. Like the, the parkour would be good if I could just go straight to level 2. So if I get two spare points, maybe do it in one. But I'd rather spend like another level on, on running and gun. Maybe even light armor. Because what? Reduces light armor movement penalty by 50%. And my stamina penalty by 35. And increases my durability. So I would like that. It would make it a little bit better for me. Mm, there's, yeah, there's nothing else here that's really jumping out at me. It's something that I desperately need. I'm pretty well rounded around the joints. The sun's coming out. The zombies are coming in. Oh, okay, just just keep working, Josh. Just keep going. Don't don't start thinking about other things. Just focus on what you're doing now. You can tell that I absolutely think that the hatch hallway is the best for melee stuff because I'm effectively building essentially just a very small hatch hallway just here. Like I'm trying to get a single bunch of hatches, but it's the same kind of principle. I would like you, and I see to break down th this car in particular. The other cars aren't much of a threat because cars do explode if they take too much damage. But I just want to get rid of this one because it's a little bit too close to these stairs for my liking. It only wooden stairs. So the zombies get trapped on this, beat this down, and explode it. They break the stairs, break their pathing, then they're breaking through windows or doors again. And uh, that's going to cause me some issues. So I'd rather do it now than have the zombies blow up later. Just going to check to make sure that this isn't a way in for them as well. Which it absolutely is. Jesus Christ, that's weaker than the doors I just put up. So I'll go like that. I'll get rid of you real quick and grab you back real fast. And there and there. I know that like not many people do what I do with like the flagstone to, to cobble to concrete. They go wood, reinforced wood, uh, cobble, then concrete. The extra step is like less risk of flagstone. But cobblestone's so cheap and easy all over the place. I'm not really that concerned about it. I might even have a little squeeze through here. Yeah, you know what? Oh, I, I wish they were just like stuck on the outside instead of in the space. I'm going to get rid of all of these and plug up each one of these holes. The safer I make this building, the better off I'm going to be. I'd rather have this be a nice strong shell on the outside and fight in the doorways and whatnot as we go around than have them stand on each other's shoulders and beat through the windows instead. I, um, I don't have any concrete left over, so I might just go to cobble then. That's fine. All right, I don't need to break down that one because it's already got a thousand HP, which is better than half these things do. So did I just block that one off? Can I not upgrade that one now? Because it's, oh, fine. That's all right. As long as there's like some pretty decent blocks in its way, they shouldn't come through that way. Upgrade you. Let that be a lesson though. If you can't access a block before you put down the second one, just like upgrade the one behind it, then put the capstone on so you can still get through and upgrade what you need. They're all good there. Bond's about level 20. I did actually change over my ski goggles to my XP goggles. Looking real demonic right now for that extra 10% XP gain. Because upgrading blocks does give you a ridiculous amount of XP. 
all of that goes like there and then here uh run and gun or light armor run and gun or light armor i'm gonna run and gun hip fire accuracy increased by 70 percent movement penalty when reloading is reduced by 60 percent sure that works for me. Like, that's the thing. Like, there's no real standouts now, for me at least, of things that I desperately need. I feel like the points that I have spent have been spent well. The skills that I do have are useful to me. So I'm pretty much uh, okay on the skill tree fronts. I just need two more flagstones. Actually, you know what? No. We'll do it the other way. We'll do it the other way. Let's go here. Um, that one. That one. I mean, it's the sa same thing at the end of the day. It's just extra steps. Why are you getting upgraded? Wait, do you get upgraded if I don't have concrete on me? No, so you're already... Okay, nice. Good. So you're just as strong as the cobblestone. That's what I was hoping to find out. I've got these two flagstone blocks here anyway, so I might just give these guys a little bit of trouble if they do make it up to the top here by going pole, that one, and that one, and upgrading that to cobble, just to slow them down just that little bit. In fact, I kind of like that. Let's go another two of those, just because I kind of like to. No, I want to go copy shape, please. Not going to let me do it. Okay, that's a little bit rude. Whatever. Flagstone pole. And then we're going to go copy rotation. And just stick you there and there. Just so if I do make it up to here, this is where they're going to get bogged down. This is another choke point. I can come up this way and go up like that and make it over the railing nice and easily. They're going to have to go a different way. That's good. Okay, nice. Got an escape route out the window there or up to the top. That should be all that I need for now. Is there anything missing that I can think of? Not especially. I'm just going to duck over to this like underground access point over here and block up this bit as well because I don't want them... How much wood do I have? Not very much. I'll try to do this way anyway. I don't want them seeing this as an option either. I, I don't want them going the long way around. Even though I've like kind of blocked up that side uh, pretty well and it is a longer route for them to take and much more stuff for them to break through underneath the ground as well. I'd much rather just block it off here and just remove it from the equation entirely. We know that zombies use like the whole, um, well, you know, they path by trying to figure out what the fastest, most efficient way to get to you is going to be. So if I just make sure that they do come through this wall, have it get stuck, they come through here and fall downstairs, they are going to run backwards and come, uh, well, they're not going to go downstairs in the first place. But I didn't want to rely on them turning around and coming out again when they could have just charged towards me the other way. So... That'll do nicely there. I don't want to plug up the door because they do make it inside there. I want them to come out the door the easy way and not think they can break through the floor there and go the other way instead. It is now six, uh, six o'clock. No, it's not. It's four o'clock. Uh, let's go back to the house. Let's get the rest of our stuff in order and just get our life sorted out. Not long to go now. I suppose it's about time I get everything sorted out for the horde tonight anything out of you not really i have some cobble on me for repairs if i need them i don't need the concrete because none of it's concrete anyway and i'm not taking forged irons that are repairs on the cyclone fencing this is not going to be a thing let's take all of our ammo we'll take some mollies as well mollies are always a good time they're super bloody effective i just don't make them because they're really expensive as well uh i need repair kits i'll take you I don't have any use for any of you. I probably should have sold these bullets, actually. They're worth a fair bit of coin, so should have done that. And I don't have a magnum yet, which is kind of upsetting. I do have my hammer. If I might have just repair you nice and quickly now, just because I have the repair kits. Loot and candy, don't need you. No, don't really need any of that stuff in there. That'll be fine. Uh, I will take... I'll take you guys, because we digest with efficiency, plus it's like a lot of water, which I kind of like the idea of. I'll also take the Mega Crushes in case I do need to start running. Run speed plus 50% and some stamina regen as well. That's going to be a good time. I'll take the Skull Crushes just in case. Um, I've got a big stack of food in here. I'll take you guys. I don't want to just eat some of you. So the boiled meat, despite the fact that the idea of that is freaking atrocious to me, I know that like actual boiled meat, boiled meat in real life, like corn silver side is actually pretty delicious or anything slow cooked. Just like picking up like a welting slab of falling apart meat and trying to eat it. It just seems gross to me, but it gives you 10 food and it gives you 10 water so I can get all my sustenance from those. But it is kind of interesting to me about how inefficient, like, cooked meat like that is. Like, it's only 10, so you have to eat a whole lot of it to get anything out of it. it just, like, takes a long time. 
I'll take Grandpa's Moonshine. It's plus 400% melee damage. Like, you're really going to mess some people up with that. Uh, I'll take you. You're even better than the Skull Crushers. I wonder if those work in tandem, actually. I mean, Grandpa's Moonshine only lasts 45 seconds, but look at what it does. It's basically like in Doom when you pick up the Berserk power-up. It doesn't punch all the imps and give them all all over the place. It's basically Berserk for seven days, which is freaking awesome. Um, I don't need Froffies, although I might just take a sneaky Froffy and she is to my potential demise. Gonna say goodbye to the balcony somehow after all. Look at the view though. Wouldn't you just love to have this? I'd love to have that. Close the door behind me again. Now that I can't see shit, put you away. So I have painkillers in case I need them. I have my first aid bandages in case I need those as well. I have lots of ammo. I'll take the splints just in case you never know. All the rest of this stuff is relatively fine. Okay. I don't think I need anything out of here. I think we're pretty much fine there. But I do have you. And I've got you. And I've got... Where were the tips? There. I may as well try and make a couple of extra rounds. I'm going to take three minutes. Yeah, I've got three minutes. That'll be all right. Nothing in here that I need either. Just doing last double checks. I can't... I don't think I can put the full-time skirt mod on. No, I can't. Oh, wait. Hang on. I had... Two times scope mod. Can I put that on the pistol? I might be able to. Broken glass, forged iron. Forged iron, polymers, and glue. Okay. Let's grab you real fast. Let's grab you real fast and quickly go here. Make myself some glue, please. Oh, could we do it? Could we do it at the last death now? I hate to do it, but desperate times and stuff. Can you give me your glass? That'll do. I can upgrade that and like make it like, you know. A, a solid bit of wood, I suppose. Ah! Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. But I wanted the glass out of it. I need one more. So that one will do. I'll quickly just fix all this up so no zombies come inside. It's a shame I hate getting rid of some of the aesthetics. If I was playing this for longer, I would come back later on down the track and replace it with windows again. Oh, for goodness sake, I need some wood. Grab all of you guys and scrap you. 13 wood ought to do it. Hurry up, please. This is all eating into my time I can craft my scope with. I mostly want the scope because I'm going to be taking the silencer out of the pistol for Horde Knight because clearly you don't have to be stealthy with Horde Knight. Uh, and the silencer is actually a detriment to damage. But before I get distracted explaining that, let's go here. Let's go two times scope mod. Get you crafting. That should be done just in time. So one of the books, I think it's Urban Combat. Uh, if you get all of the urban combat books, then silencers have no damage penalty. So if I had that, I wouldn't bother taking the silencer out. But I can go in here, I can replace the silencer with a scope or any other mod and get some extra damage boost out of it as well. So that's the reason I'm kind of so keen to do it. All the ammo is now done. Uh, I, I think I as long as I shoot well, if I do my job and actually shoot some idiots in the face once or twice, I should be pretty okay. I just don't back myself in because more times out of 10, whenever I do back myself, I prove myself to be a galah. Last couple of seconds on the scope mod. It may not even fit on the pistol. I know they fit on magnums, so I'm not sure about the pistol. Modify you. It does go on the pistol. Look at that. It looks like a chunky boy, but a fun boy all the same. You can go in there for later. The thunder's clapping outside. It is almost hot time. But I think that's all good to go. I will take... Oh, and I need some of you just to quickly make myself one of these. Because when I get over there, I will need a everyday deposit chest. I have to put all my stuff that isn't horde specific away so I have everything going for me. Nice, 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 nice. All right, this is going to be a good time. Admittedly, I don't like the scope mods. I, I don't like them. I feel like they're constricting. They limit my peripheral vision and... I'd rather the iron, uh, the iron sights, they work just as well for me anyway. But I'm j I just want it just for the extra damage boost. That's the only reason I've banged it on the top of me slide. Oh, someone's struggling about. That's fine. Zeus is clapping his ass cheeks in the distance. But, well, this is where it's all going to go down. Is it going to go well for me or badly for me? I will pick you up. Take you inside. Use the ball to get up and over the fence. I can do that, but the zombies can't. And I suppose let's find somewhere safe in here to plonk down all my gubbins. Like, even though it only took me like half a day to do this, taking advantage of some like the, the stronger POIs is absolutely a good idea to save yourself from having to start from scratch making a horde base. And it works out really well. 
You can go up there. You can hold on to all of these. I'll keep my um my stone axe on me just because you never know when you might need it. Uh, you can also hold on to my bow and my arrows. Don't know why I brought those with me. That was really reasonably silly. I'll keep the honey on me in case I do get messed up. Do I want the extra damage points for the agility goggles or the extra XP? I think extra XP so you can go away. That's going to be all that I need. I've got my Molotovs. I've got my pistol, my knife. I'm really anticipating using my knife, but you just never know, I suppose. If things go really wrong, I've got my Mega Crush and my food. I usually like to like sort things out like this so I can find them in a pinch. All this stuff is all done automatically. My splints can go there if I need them. Those are all there too. That can go into that one. Okay. Nice. We are all set up. We are all ready to go. I just don't know where the zombie is going to come from to start with. That's going to be like kind of the main question for me. Where they decide to show up from is more of a question of my survival than anything else. If I get pinned like behind this thing, I might be in a bit of strife. But out here, if I come this way... As long as I keep him from jumping over the fence, I'll be fine. Last couple of seconds before the horde, I'm just like hanging out on top of the fence to hopefully see them coming from this side. I want them to be on this side. I don't want to follow them on this side, on that side over there. This is definitely the better side for me. So I'll quickly get that inside myself for some digestive efficiency. I'm full of basically everything. Where are they coming from? Where are you coming from, Jigglypuff? Uh, excuse me. You were supposed to... Okay, okay. Well, looks like we're going knifey boys anyway. Stab you a little bit, stab you a little bit. If I can avoid you using ammo if I can. Until Arlen gets a little bit too close to me. You go away, you go away. How did you guys get in? Or was I so far across? Was I standing on top of the fence? So like their range that they spawn in happened to be inside the bloody fences over here. Just go like that. Don't worry about using the scope. Just go hip fire. I just want to scope out the back over here. In fact, can you guys just... Real quick, be lovely and just hold on to that for me. Thank you very much. Now, the fences are all intact. So they must have just spawned inside the fences. Turns out standing on top of the fence over there was a bad idea. Um, sort out you guys. are going to burn to death anyway, but I was going to try and make your life a little bit less miserable for the last couple of seconds. But you are breathing in some zombified air. Oh, this is going to be this is going to be fine. This is going to be easy. The pistol's got you covered. I've got all the ammo in the world to spray and pray. I've got 1,500 rounds. How did that happen? I went from having like next to no ammo to lots of ammo. Look what can happen when you focus on shit, Josh. Bonds are might level up. That's gone straight into parkour in a second. 14,000 experience on the trot right now. We're laughing. I actually want to use more of my Molotovs because it's actually really bloody handy, especially with them all coming up in this general direction. While you guys are burning to death, it smells like a delicious barbecue. Let's go parkour. Buy points that. I want the next one. That's a little bit further away. Not really doable just yet. Didn't mean to shoot your friend in the back over there. Oh, good day, Loz. How you doing? Sit you down. Murder your friend. Murder you too. So far, so good. This is what's good about the cyclone fencing. Is it like, it gives you like, it's the ultimate I can hit you, but you can't hit me. They're all on the outside of the fence over here. And I can just have my way with them. It sounds like, oh, yep, they have. They've switched sides. That happens like kind of halfway through the night. So like in each horde night, there is two distinct waves. Okay, you guys all need to come to the fence then. If that's how you're going to do it. I don't know why my... Oh god, my shooting was so bad there. If that's how they're going to do it, they're all need to come over here so I can start molotoving them. Uh, but yeah, like halfway through the horde, there's like in this, uh, uh, distinct waves that happen during the horde. So if uh, the new wave starts, they'll start spawning on the other side. Something to keep in mind. I remember it happening in the other the other horde nights. It probably did, but with like the pre-built, sorry, the custom-built horde bases with one access point, you don't really get to see it as much. But something this big does get affected by it. That's a big enough pack for me. Hold on to that. Thank you very much. Someone's beating on shit over here. Oh, Nancy down. That's a big group of zombies again. They're kind of in the middle, so oh, they're starting to stack up as well. Hold that, please. If you get over the fence. Like you have, you're already on fire, so unlucky. Sorry, Alina, I shot your step out around from underneath you. You're burning away, and you're dead. We're doing all right. As long as I keep my wits about me, we should be pretty much okay. Now we've got the dog horde, like it's funny, round three of, of um, cod zombies. Up, up. No, 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 bad, bad. No step out of you. Stay on your side of the fence. I'm not going to lie, I do miss... Oh, Bond's about level 23. Two skill points to spend. I didn't really got two of them out of that. So here, we'll go this one. We will go parkour. 
I was gonna say it's very very quiet. Are they still coming for me? There's still a couple. Of oh god. Oh, there's still a couple over that side as well. Well, go long. Ah, uh, cop that, please. That was a little bit too long, Josh. That was your last ball top as well. Not your best. But I do miss the days when the fully auto mod on the pistol like actually made it spray pretty satisfyingly. Now, if I click and hold, like it's not the worst, but it's not like, it's not Glock 18, is it? It's like, it's still relatively normally paced. Whereas I want to come over there and if I've got a full auto mod on it, I want to spit some rounds. Can you get out of my fence, please? I didn't get into these fences so you guys just traipse on through them. Get the shit out of my house. So it must be the start of a new wave again because they're all coming from this side. Try and get some lines up so you can just kind of spray into the group of them and not really worry about it too much. That's why the killing corridor was always so good. It kept all the zombies in one straight line. So you never had to aim anywhere else. Even if you missed the zombie in front, someone behind them would catch the round in their chest and go down like the sacks of shit that they are. Look at that. Look how much easier it is when they're all in a straight line. You can just massacre a lot of them without too much thought process, which is good for me. I don't have a lot of thought process to offer. Just like that. That's like that. Yes. God, it makes me miss like the OG killing corridor. God, that was a good time. Oh, uh, is that it? Oh, no. Old mate's still there. So just pop your noggin. Oh, look at the hoppy boys. I've got to invest in parkour. Now I can just like hop skipping all over the place. I think that's it. I think that's all the Zomberinis. I mean, it was a bit, a bit dicier of a horde, not the one we've had before, but just because it is a slightly bigger POI, the POI area is big enough that zombies can spawn inside the fence if I'm right up on one of the edges. So that's something to keep in mind. Some vitamins out of you. Not expecting much out of the horde night loot. You never get really anything anyway. I feel like that was a slightly bigger horde that we faced before as well. It was actually a pretty decent size. Wasteland Treasure Volume 7. Um, so many zombies and so few bullets. I learned this trick for harvesting more lead and brass from sinks and plumbing. I'll take you to sell if I was going to continue anyway. I can't quite jump back over the fence just from here. Lucky my boulder of access is over this side. But there you go. There you bloody go. That is another week done. I'll check down here if there's any more loot bags. So I did murder quite a lot of zombies down here. Yep, there we go. There's one right there. Grab you. Ah, yes, please. If you look at our formula like that, I accept your generous offer. Nothing on this side. Can I make this jump? Not quite. Not quite. That's okay. Put uh, a frame down and up and over the top. Let's take this, Frothy. Let's go to the roof and celebrate the end of another week. Ah, oh, what a week it's been. So with those next two skill points, I probably would have bought the next level of agility because with that and then with my agility goggles that are downstairs, that would have opened up tier 7 perception so that then from, uh, not perception, agility so from then on, I can get the next level of archery or the next level of gunslinger or whatever, um, spending 2 points getting 4 for it, then you know that's just, that's just efficient, that's just good parkour is good, especially at like level 2 with that extra jump just means things are a bit more accessible to you but you can tell with this as compared to strength or even fortitude or even perception back then as well, agility is where everything is useful. Every skill in agility is of note and of use. So it's actually worked out really well. I'm very well rounded. Like I've got my offensive stuff is tier three and all of my passive stuff is tier two. That's not bad. That's, that's pretty bloody good, I reckon. Well, using our sweet parkour skills, let's get up onto the roof like that and just celebrate the end of another week. So cheers, biggies. Oh, we're done. We're done. And that is... The very last. There is no skills for me to go through at all. There is absolutely no, that's the end of hardcore specialists. We're not doing any other skills. There's no more weeks. I wish that was true. It's not. I have to do intellect. I don't want to do intellect. Oh, it's like after such a good week for this one, after feeling so happy and joyful and light and like there's some sort of like payoff at the end of the horizon when I was doing this agility week. Now I've got to do intellect. The worst bloody week. The worst, most useless skill tree. Stun buttons and turrets. It's not going to be a good time. I'm not excited about that at all. Hopefully Alpha 20 comes out right about now so I don't have to do it. Fingers crossed. Fingers and toes is crossed. That would be a, uh, that would be definitely some, um, uh, what's, what's the word for it? 
I don't remember anymore. That'd be God stepping in and saving my ass. That is for damn sure. But with that doom and gloom on the horizon, I am going to leave this episode and this week here. So thank you all for coming along with me on the agility journey. It's been a really bloody good time. We will continue Hardcore Specialists in the next episode. But that's not going to happen because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.